do it for glory. There we go. Perfect. So, um, we have on uh, Team Red, meaning being played on the left side, I believe, if I'm not completely wrong, we have Acroix is playing Bulwark, Anonym is playing Blitz, Valkyrie and Boll, super awesome team, uh, whatever, Emotep, Striker and Neobless Patches, Silent Burp, Rhino, Regal, Vox, Warheads, no key for you, Blitz played by Timmy Terminator and Flatline on B3. I still unlocked. have the opinion that B3 is one of the best, maybe even the best supporter in Shards of War, support player currently in Shards of War. Let's see if uh, he will totally support this uh, opinion. Both teams directly on bot. Vox is very dangerous. Regal is very dangerous on Vox. Captured, War, uh, Watchtower is captured by Team Rasta Panda currently and some engages are going on. Very beautiful positioning by Steamroller. Silent Burp just waiting for go in. Team Rasta moved a bit back. They don't really want to engage just for the Watchtower. Strike is moving on top already. Taking Watchtower. Getting engaged by Mr. Temin. It's a very good engage there. Huge damage applied. But Mr. Temin is now a little bit out of position. Lucky he was evading the bowler shot of Bulwark so he was capable of getting back both teams with one supporter patches for team red and uh, flatline for team blue steamroller on the right side rasta panda on the left side said it correctly right blitz is trying to find an opening there to give vox the lead on the lane top watchtower in control for Team Rasta Panda mid lane currently flatline alone defending against three. Let's see how good or bad this is going to work. All time, however, joined him very fast. The epic showdown between Bulwark as a tank and Rhino. We have we passed one minute 30 seconds. Therefore, spawns are happening. Valkyrie is playing against the warhead. This is going to be a rather difficult lineup. No heal is pressuring the tower very strongly getting some damage patches moved on bot lane now mid lane is getting engaged however silent burp was out of range vox took down striker on top lane pressuring the tower very strongly it's always a little bit tricky if you don't if you ban cobra for regal he will play vox if he plays vox it's a very dangerous very dangerous i think that actually i prefer regal being on cobra than on vox to be honest striker emotep is a little bit pushed into his tower he defends of course still nothing to be said he needs to be highly aggressive against vox if he wants to hold the lane rhino is taking top right acidity drone without any problems bulwark is moving in he tries to find the opening there he pushes out warheads no heal knows there's a gang waiting let's see if they're going actually for uh yes they are going this bola heals followed up by a stun but somehow the stun was aborted by Neoblast, no key for you is getting away immediately his team is joining him to support him mid however is abandoned there is no xp wasted now in time silent burp arrives very good timing that is drawn out of position being taken down very easily and uh, now they think they will switch to their own mid lane oh silent burp out of position there getting flanked getting chased down by blitz patches and bulwark vox is engaging on top lane now he needs to be careful he has the watchtower so he sees the danger coming in he retreats in time and bot artillery drone was taken by no heal the tower was defended by flatline artillery drone is a little bit too much in the front but this will now eventually being uh being secured no heal huge good a a aggression applyment on valkyrie mid lane bulwark needs to be careful but of course he is tanky enough to sustain quite an onslaught. Artillery drone is moving in, long range shots by Valkyrie trying to damage it as much as possible. Good movement there but she pulled back. Now the uh, drone is locked in on the tower so she will push against him a lot. He's trying to get some damage, some aggression against Warhead but he's easily pushed back. Now Patches and Blitz is coming in. B3 is already on bottom to support Warhead. Very good, very good, very efficient uh, use of Sentinels 
And now Rhino and Blitz are coming in. They will try to set up a gank and maybe push into the tower as strong as possible. Mid lane currently very good timings there by Steamroller again. Mid lane there is no XP waste currently. They ran to bot lane but they didn't waste any XP. Both teams tied up at 5 at level 5. Let's see how this is going to play out. Top lane Bulwark so went to support Striker. They're currently waiting maybe for a gank but Vox knows and doesn't doesn't show Your his face at ready. all. Valkyrie moved to mid lane. I'm not sure if this was the best decision as Nokia on Warhead will do a lot of damage now against the towers. Two versus three. Silent Burp will go in. I know that he likes to go in. He's just uh, actually they're escaping. They don't want to risk it as mid lane had support. Very good. Very good uh, eyes there. I didn't actually see it. I thought he would go in, but they pulled back because Striker and Bulwark appeared in mid lane. Warhead out of position now. Needs to run the miss. She misses, however. And now the bowler. Where's the bowler shot? Will it hit? No, he's getting out. Very good play there by Steamroller. Uh, very calm, very efficient. He waited and he uh, avoided two uh, roots, two CCs by the enemy team. Now Neoblos is trying to get a stun on Silenberg, but he is out of range. Silenberg goes immediately back in again. Ultimate directly up. We have ultimates, full team, uh, B3 immediately flat, flatline ultimate to support. The push is avoided by five. What was this actually? Five. Yes, five Sentinels were pushed in mid lane. Not successful defended by three Sentinels. Very efficient. Bot lane went down as a result. Top lane took tower. So no, he is doing good, good job in immediately getting the advantage on another lane mid, mid lane blitz and bulwark still trying to make a play there but they don't have enough damage to pull them back and they lost now with this decision bot tower so steamroller slowly but steadily is getting into a lead one level difference uh, advantage for steamroller currently let's see how the response of team rasta panda will be mr terminator out of uh, out of range for the stun of Neo Blast of Patches, so he's just running away and everything is good. Vox playing currently top lane against two. Let's see how they split. I think Vox can easily defend this rather uh, well, so the tower won't get too much damage. He's actually lurking those drones already. Now nuking them down very fast. He doesn't even follow up. He knows they will go down. Going searching directly for Striker and Bulwark. Striker out of position, moving in. Silent Burp. Striker is going down. Ultimate of Akira didn't do too much damage. We have the team fight still going on, but Striker is down elite. Oh, now Bulwark out of position. He's getting a huge amount of damage. Not much they can do. Regal is getting fighting. Oh my god, look at this. Regal on Vox is just absolutely unbelievable. Amazing. They, he just took three sentinels on his own. They, they couldn't even get him down. He was actually capable of juking them. Getting out in time. Now still the onslaught is still strong. Silent Burp and Mr. Terminator on the enemy blitz. Mid tower is going down. Huge lead now for Team Steamroller. Four sentinels down at Rasta Panda. Mid tower, T1 tower is down. What's the response of Team Steamroller? How they will utilize this advantage? I believe. Drake would have been an option, but instead they're going for bot artillery drone. They maybe will port back now as they're taking the mad kids. Bot lane is getting pushed. I think there will be a follow up with a Drake. If I have to bet, I would do it. What is the response of Team Rasta Panda? Top tower isn't too healthy anymore. Maybe Steamroller wants to wait as they have the top tower actually down before they're going for Drake to have it secure to be able to fall back into tower and deny the opponents the same possibility. Top left artillery drone was taken down by, by, by uh, Team Rasta Panda. Imhotep is returning to top lane but it was timing was off. Tower is going down even though artillery drone now is a little bit out of position. Regal is engaging. Bot lane huge team fight. Bowl uh, Valkyrie is trying trying to do as much play as possible. I heard the ultimate going down. Now the ultimate from Valkyrie is still not enough damage being applied. Two artillery drones being protected. They're doing damage but they didn't lock on the tower yet. At least one locked in. It's going down. However, they're still fighting. Steamroller is team pressuring. They have the two level advantage so they can actually sustain quite a bit there. 
the pressuring the bottom T1 tower. Artildron is still shooting. Uh, Valkyrie is trying to put it down, but Silent Burp going deep while it's ulti on the tower to do as much damage as possible. Now Regal is coming and he's pulling together. He's hitting all the bulwark. Now Regal will go down this time by the focus of team. That's a Panda Silent Burp very deep with his ultimate, but there was a huge damage done to this tower, and I believe this was the uh, aim of Steamroller. And they did it good, they pulled back now in time, still one level lead, actually for some time it will be actually a two level lead as uh, Rasta Panda needs to catch up first, Team Steamroller immediately going to mid, and Rotor Satameter is going actually for Bulwark, this is a bold move there, as uh, he could have been easily flanked, but he pulled out with his ultimate fast enough, he didn't overextend, so it was a good plan, if they would have come from bot, I believe he could have escaped to top. Tank drone is getting already uh, getting damaged. It's a little bit abandoned by Team Rasta Panda. Not sure why they take tank drone if they don't protect it. There's nothing to game. I think they were afraid that Team Steamroller is going for Drake immediately, which they actually don't do. Which can be, of course, a good strategy as well. If the enemy is thinking you're going for Drake, you yourself, you yourself can't take Drake, and they actually don't do it. Now, however, Team Steamroller is gathering on top lane. They know the bot lane. Uh, where it's a little bit pushed, mid lane is not, well, it's kind of rather neutral. They showed themselves on top and I think they're actually preparing an ambush. Let's see. Let's see if Team Rasta Panda is coming in. Team Simula is a drag currently. Will they, be, will they actually take it on? Until John is still pushing the lane. Apparently they're still waiting. Now, they engage on the drag. They must know. The Rasta Panda is coming. They waited a long time. Maybe they actually count on winning this team fight. They are pulling back to the right. Riga is a little bit very deep there. However, not much damage appearing to 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 uh, team Steamroller. Vakure is going down. This was the aim. They lured away. Vox went in, secured three Sentinels. No follow up from his team. They focus actually on Vox. Vox is still alive. Completely healthy. A lot of damage done. Very good. A uh, combination of Wild Ulti and Vox pulling them together. Regal is diving very deep. Imhotep is going down. Regal is tanking the tower like no tomorrow. Pulling back in time so he doesn't get more damage. His creeps are pulling it and top tower is in a lot of trouble. Getting huge amounts of damage. Regal is still tanking the tower. Now he's actually yeah, engaging but Blitz was clever enough to pull back to two tower. Is down for Tier, uh, team uh, Rasta Panda, Steamroller immediately utilizes the advantage going for Drake and they will have a successful Drake attempt as Rasta Panda can't do anything to stop them at this time. Very beautiful play, they engage Drake, they pulled away to the right side. I think we're gonna save this replay and we we'll watch this replay after this game. This is a very good strategy, they're pulling out, everyone who's being follow up is starting to take damage by the Drake and Vox was just going in against three, using his ultimate to sustain as much as possible, allowing his team to pick out to have a four versus two fight, which actually Rasta Panda said he didn't see. Silent Web is going in, Silence are going up, and the Silence are going late up. Ultimate by Vox in the middle. His team is completely split up, they can't follow up the ultimate. Is coming down or it was a good ultimate but the two level difference is just too much to just maintain regal is in the front line and actually all the damage leaders are trying to put him down now one sentinel for both teams is down i think actually this was a very good team fight barasta panda steamer did utilize the way they should have done it and uh, this is uh, giving Rasta Panda a little bit of a comeback. However, uh, Team Steamroller is on the edge to have two level difference again. They have uh, the Drake moving in through mid lane. They're missing Vox, which is essential to have Vox in this lineup. Now let's see how much damage actually the Drake will do as they have all the possibilities to push it actually back. The tower shield is down now. It's dropping a little bit, but they're holding still strong. I don't believe that this they can break. The sign Burp is going in, catches three. Sentinels, Petrus is going down with a combination of Warhead and uh, actually the stun of Silent Bird. The tower is going down, very good engage. They saw the opening, they used the two level difference 
ahead. Steamroller. Drake is moving into HQ. He won't do much damage as he is very low already. And Team Steamroller is abandoning the mid lane, taking objectives left and right. Mid lane currently tank drone. Rasta Panda knows. Immediately engages. Ultimate is still up, still strong. Now Rust and Steamroller is a little bit in a tricky situation. Need to be careful. However, Rhino is taking all the damage. He sustained more than Bulwark as Bulwark was not correctly followed up by his team. This tight spot is not necessarily the best situation. Ultimate of uh, Valkyra, I didn't see it was actually up maybe. Not sure why it didn't come down. It was, would have been a really good spot to use the ultimate. Sadly, miscommunications there. Bot tower, tier 2 tower is pressured by Steamroller. I believe it will go down. There it is. Two level difference ahead for Team Steamroller and Team Rasa Panda is in a world of pain and in dramatic situation as it would be really hard to defend against this push. Mid lane, tank drone. The team Steamroller is going for bot drones. They are sticking together. Drake is down for another three and a half minutes. Not sure how Team Rasta can defend against this also against this pressure. In this situation, I think actually the right artillery drone would have been better than than the left first. But this is what they're doing. They realize that they're taking artillery drone on the right first to be able to push both lanes at both artillery drone at the same time, and of course to be protected by the lane creeps. Or minions, or however you want to call it. Shield is kind of up, so they can technically defend against it. Das Bulwark has his ultimate. Ultimate by Bulwark is up again. Ultimate by Valkyrie is up again. They need to make a play here. Patches need to have an amazing ulti if they want to have hope to defend against this heavy push now on bot lane. Artillery Jones is locked in on HQ. Both teams are waiting for the opening. Sooner or later, of course, Silent Bird will go in, followed by Vox, and they're going to be in a lot of pain. Bulwark is getting too much damage. He needs to go in, he needs to commit at once. He is not the best sustain. He has amazing capability once he is in, but he needs to get in. The HQ is dropping 70%. The engage needs to come sooner or later as the side is dropping out. Now the engage is coming. Where is the ulti? Ulti is not coming down. He was stunned in time. They're pushing them back. Uh, patches ulti followed by Vaikuro ulti which didn't hit properly the ulti by Bulwark didn't hit properly as well it wasn't time and executed well team steamroller is ahead they lost actually both teams lost one uh, one one sentinel but now three sentinels down for team rasa panda and steamroller is pushing still strong pushing away sentinels four sentinels down ten percent five percent and the game is one for team steamroller fantastic game